I've bought a lot of stuff since the last time I posted a video, and I just want to post an update slash haul on my activity. So, the most interesting thing I've gotten was a Thermoclear, um, I don't know what it's called, I think it's, oh, it's acne treatment device, and the Thermoclear is very similar to the uh, Xeno, which a lot of people might have heard of. I think Xeno is sold on Sephora.com. And what these things do is they deliver an electric pulse or um, a heat, a heating pulse to your skin such that it will dry out um, any blemishes you might have. So I've been using this for a little while. Um, I went out on an inter interview a couple days ago, so I wasn't really using this regularly. And I kind of just want to wait for um, like, <laughs> like good acne. Uh, acne is bad, but a good pimple, I don't know, to try this on. So expect to see me review this in the near future. Also, I ended up getting um, pigment samples from two different... Um, bloggers. One one is named Vanessa. I believe her last name is Garcia, and she runs the blog called NecessaryMakeup.com. I'll post the link right here. And another YouTube YouTuber called Makeup Square. And so I just got um, samples from each of them. I think both of them charge three dollars per sample. Um, Nessa or Vanessa put them in these little clear jars and then Makeup Square put her or Allie put hers in these other jars. So they're about the same size, it doesn't really matter to me how big they are, maybe a quarter to half teaspoon. So from Nessa I got Violet, Pinked Mauve, um, Visa Violet, which is very similar to uh, Violet, and the famous, famous Golden Olive, which is a gorgeous color, Golden Lemon, which is like a nice corn yellow kind of, or lemon yellow, fuchsia because I needed some wacky colors in my collection, vanilla because it's a staple in anyone's collection, very versatile, and teal, it's just so pretty, I can imagine this going very well with Parrot. And then from Ally Makeup Square on YouTube, I got Cornflower from MAC, because everyone talks about it a lot, Kokomotion, can't really see the colors here, I can unscrew them, but yeah. MAC Rush Metal, I believe this was limited edition, um, MAC Helium, MAC Pink Bronze, which actually Makeup Square did a wonderful, very cute review on for, um, I believe it was um, Pinky Charms competition, MAC Copperized, and those are my samples from her. And then I got a shipment from Smashbox, and what I ended up getting was their really, really cute Toki Doki Quad from Smashbox, and I saw reviews on this that weren't so great because the eyeshadows aren't pigmented as much as MAC, which I found to be true, but I really couldn't help myself because the compact is so cute because it has the little like character up here, stars, and it's really small, which I haven't seen before. Like the MAC Quad is right here, it's much smaller, and it's, I don't know, it was just really cute. It was $22.50 on sale, and limited edition so and then from there I got a free sample of their O Glow cheek color and then I also got oh also if you go to smashbox.com and order on Tuesdays and Thursdays in their uh, let's do lunch time period like 9 a.m. Pacific to like 5 p.m. Pacific or something then they give you a free full-size sample and this or last week it was the eyeshadow called Flirt, which is so similar to um, Stila's Kitten eyeshadow. I actually might put Stila Kitten up for swap since it's very popular and it looks just like Flirt. So, in case you're wondering. Anyway, I actually don't like Stila Kitten that much because it's so sparkly, so, you know. Oh, my hair kind of looks brown right here. Anyway, it's not brown. So that, and then also I got some swaps, and I swapped for, since I love Smashbox lip glosses, Smashbox ooh, Agent, an agent, like Agent Smith, and then one of their um, lip glosses, like their solid lip glosses, I guess, in Simmer. A girl said she had so much Smashbox that she got from like her grandmother or relative, so she wanted to give them away, and, and this is brand new and this wasn't. It was used, and she also gave me a free, not a free, but um, an unused um, Smashbox gloss in clear, which is always helpful, because I actually don't own a plain clear one. I have one from Rimmel, but I think it's kind of too thick, so I love Smashbox glosses. Then I got my hands on a Lash Blast, 
and I used this for a full like two weeks. And what I can already say in the beginning and using this is actually I do like Plush Lash better because this tends to clump on me more. I also have been using um, Maybelline Define a Lash a lot more because it separates my lashes and makes them longer, whereas this tends to just want to clump them together, my lashes that is. Um, I, ha I tend to have fit, uh, not thinner, shorter lashes that are like closer together, I guess. So I haven't had a too pleasant of an experience with this. Like I don't really see why it's so great. I mean, it's, it's adequate, but I think Blush Lash and Define a Lash are much, much better. That's my review. <laughs> Sorry. And then I went to the cosmetic company store outlet, and for $15.25, I bought a MAC Charged Water. And guess which one it is? It's Renewal Defense. And Renewal Defense, if I'm not mistaken, was with the End Collection release, which is what I've been showing in all my other videos. Like, I used half of it, which is $19 retail. So, I was very surprised that they had one of their new released, newly released Charged Waters, and the associate at that place was also equally a surprise. So, lesson, lesson to be learned is to really read the product names when you see things at the cosmetic company store outlet because it could be new items or really, really new items. And you, I, I mean, I've seen them in the cabinet and I didn't know it was a new one. Anyway, just had to grab it because then this was like the same price as Fix Plus And I don't know why they're worth, they're charged more than Fix Plus. I just think, you know, hey, if it's, it's charged more, that means it's better. I don't know. It works really well with applying my mineral makeup wet. Which brings me to my second... Oh, wait. So then I got, uh, in a swap, a MAC Technical liner in smooth blue. And I just swatched it, like, all over my hand like crazy because this is my washing process. I could also spray it with alcohol, but I'm like, eh, I'll just rub it, o rub it over or you can chop off the end. And there's a lot left, so I'm really, I really like this color. Anyway, I love automatic liners, if you recall me saying... A billion times, but anyway, my mineral makeup haul came in from uh, Everyday Minerals, and let me tell you that they just go to town on giving you free samples because they gave me a free sample of. Wait, where is it? Ah. Hey, oh yeah, they gave me a free sample of the Glass Bottom Boat eyeshadow, which is a really nice green. And they also gave me a free sample of their Mojave Camping Blush, which I actually really, really like Everyday Minerals blushes because they're powdery and they're subtle and they're really natural colors that you can wear. And supposedly their products are all natural. I don't know what that really means, but... Um, then I got Back to School Blush in my shipment. I bought Cherry Fizz Eyeshadow and Diary Eyeshadow and a full-size Wildflowers Eyeshadow, which is kind of like a, a taupe with a lavender hints at to it, and then I got Cypress um, blah, eyeshadow, which is really sparkly. Then I got another replacement for my gentle lip scrub, because my other one kind of scattered everywhere. And then I figured out my shade was olive, not olive medium, it was um, golden medium. So I got it both in semi-matte, which I've been using in matte, and I can already say that I still like the semi-matte more because I like that little bit of shimmer because it doesn't make her face look so flat and, you know, like one-dimensional. I don't know, my face is already kind of flat. Like, anyway, it's another discussion. I also got um, a full-size finishing dust um, powder, which is very similar and has, like, the same ingredients as Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil. And, yeah, I guess I can post a review on that. I also got a full-size Olive Medium Intensive Formula, which the re Olive Medium is a little darker than Golden Medium. And I wanted to get the darker one so that I can kind of mix it in with um, Golden Medium in the summertime. And I also got it in the Intensive Formula because in the summer, it gets more humid over here, and then I sweat more, and blah, 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 so intensive for that. So I've been kind of really thinking about my kit. And I think it's a good deal, like $32 or something for all, all this all this stuff. And then you can get the free um, samples they have at the time. And also look at their deals page because they have this little coupon code for like 5% off. So just check back and, you know, click everywhere on their site. So you get a good deal. And I'll use my big $2 mixing jar to mix them all together. So that is my haul for now. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!